Let me see this mess in here. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Oh, what are you doing, Mila? You got co you got the cocoa melon cards. Yeah. Wow. Yes, Alim. That's okay though, that's what bedrooms are for. Messing up and playing in, it's all fine. We can clean it later. Ah, I just realized I didn't do your little top up, did I? I'll fix that now. Mila is full of cold. Again today, aren't you baby, hey? I'm getting better though. She's got a bit of a cold going on, same as the last few days. Queenie, what are you doing, sweetheart? Are you being a good girl with your big fluffy hair? Yeah. We've got to decide what to do with your hair because you've got a grooming appointment on Tuesday and we don't know whether we're going to cut you all short or just get a little bit off and make you look so cute like a fluffy pushyan poodle thing or what? We're not sure. We need to decide what we're going to do. Yes, darling. Oh, you want to read this book? Okay. I can tell Prinny's on the edge. Ready to, she's ready to fight. Prinny, come here. She's in one of the moods. She's ready to fight. Prinny, come here. Come here. Oh, here she is. She's ready. She's ready. She's getting the energy. She's getting the energy. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, 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 oh. oh she's going. She's going. She's going. She's going. She's going. Come here. Oh, 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 oh. I swear this dog gets more energy now than she ever did when she was a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's she going? Ah, pretty coming. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she's silly. Is she silly? She's silly. <laughs> she's silly. She's she's a little monkey. She's got something of Jace's. Yo. Oh, 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 so while, I've never seen her. So whilst Jace is occupied and Mila is sat eating an apple watching, what's this called? Baba Fit? Baby Finn? Baba Finn. Baby Finn. Oh my gosh, look at She absolutely loves it. <laughs> she knows all the songs as well, bless her. <laughs> whilst I've got a little bit of time spare, uh, I actually did start to clear out all the kitchen cupboards. I inspired my own self the other day when I cleared out the snacks cupboard because it feels so nice going to the, to the snack cupboard and not being greeted by a mountain of empty packets. It's just so nice. It works so much better. I can see what we're running low on. Everyone knows what's there. Uh, it just it just feels really good to have sorted that out. And I was like, I want to do it with every single... None of our cupboards are as bad as that. Like, that was extreme. But they all could do with a bit of organising. Um, however, I started it. I pulled out, like, the cereals cupboard. And then I'm like... I don't actually have any type of, and I was like, I'm gonna do the tins and things, but I don't actually have anything for the tins and things to go in. So the reason the new snack cupboard works so well is because I've got boxes to organize the snacks and things into. Um, so I need to go back and buy some more of them so I can do the other cupboards. Um, what I'm going to do now is a little puzzle jigsaw shape sorting thingy colour my bobby do that I've been wanting to make for Mila and Jace for about a month now. Oh, she's here. <laughs> Hello. Is it all gone? Yeah. Oh, good girl. Go, go pop it in the bin. Thank you. Um, and... Yeah, I was going to do it the other day and then I couldn't find the scissors or anyway. If you want to follow along, anybody, I'll make one of these for yourself. It's super easy. Some of the products you might already have around your home. So we've got a glue gun and some glue, some of these um, Velcro sticky dots, some scissors, some felt in a variety of colours. And then I'm going to be sticking them on at some... You alright there, babe? Just cracking on with a bit of hoovering. <laughs> I'm going to be sticking them on some Amazon Amazon boxes because you know, waste not, want not. Um, I'm going to trim these down so they're a bit straighter. But I am, that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to be using. Right, I've trimmed up the cart. One thing I am really bad at, really bad, I don't know if this is like, this is just something I've never, ever, ever been able to do. I don't know why, I just cannot do it. It's cutting a straight line. It doesn't matter what I do, 
the cut always goes wonky. So this is not gonna be the neatest. I did just think though, as I was chopping this, I could just use a sheet of A4 paper and laminate it, and that would probably work better. Maybe I'll do one of each. I'm gonna stick with the card for now. So I've trimmed all that down. I've chosen five colors. I've gone with like the same, same theme in like pastel-y colors. And now all I'm going to do is fold these over, 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 over. Fold these in half, like so. And then cut a shape out. And then I'll have two of the same color, same shape. I'm gonna do that for each of the colors. Colour and shapes one for me, well, Mila and Jace, I guess I'll both do probably all of them. But I like this one how we can talk about shapes, we can talk about colours, etc, etc. And then I also made this one, which is all in pink and biggest to littlest, so we can discuss like biggest, medium size, little size, etc, etc. And then I also made this one for Jace, which is so cute. And I've done this all in different hues of green. And we can talk about not only his name and the letters and capitals and lowercase letters, but also the different hues of green. So I'm pretty impressed with those. I'm showing these because not everything you do for your child, I, I fall into this trap all the time, but not everything you do for your child needs to be Pinterest worthy. You know, look at this for a heart. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I can't cut, I'm blaming the scissors actually, the scissors are rubbish, they're so blunt, but um, you know, Mila's gonna recognize that as a heart, and she'll recognize the color, and it doesn't matter if they're not perfectly cut or perfectly straight, they're still gonna have the same educational value as anything, as wooden toys that you could buy similar to this, and these took me like 15 minutes to whip up. I will eventually do Mila a name one as well. Um, because I think that's really cute. I might try next time doing it on laminated paper. <laughs> I'm gonna get them down now and see if they enjoy playing. What is it? A circle. A circle? You want to do them? So you took them, look, no, don't pull them ones off. You got to stick these on. Where does that one go? Blue. Blue, clever girl. Blue rectangle. Stick it on. <laughs> stick it on with this bit, look. Ready? Like this? Yay! A circle. A circle? Cute. Yay! Clever girl! A circle! Does that one go in there? Yeah. Hmm. Oop. Here we go. Clever girl! <laughs> You're so cute. Pink. Pink. Clever girl. <gasps> What's the last one? raining it is raining so one of the jobs we've got to get done today is moving this monster down the side of the house i'm hoping it's gonna fit all right but right now it is literally covering because it goes up above the second story of the house it's literally covering the entire front of the house right now so i need to conceal it down the side um and just make it look a bit better basically it's absolutely mad how much of the house this thing covers it's crazy yeah, baby. baby. It's raining, it's raining. It's super raining now, so this is gonna make it more difficult. But the problem I've got is that this Range Rover is currently parked here, 
I need to move it down a little bit further on because the back of the RV where the door opens at the back needs to be in this like alcove here so that it can still open because I've got a lot of work to do on the RV between now and when we go away in it. So when it's parked here on the side of the house, I need to be able to open that side door to be able to get into it. So the back of the RV needs to come all the way down to where the alcove of the house is there. So this needs to be moved all the way further down. But this, the battery on it is completely kaput. It needs a new battery and every time you charge it up and leave it for a week, it's dead again. So it's currently dead. Um, so I need to nick the battery out of the caravan, put it in the car, move the car, put it back in the caravan, then move the caravan all the way back to the gate. I should be able to swing this monster all the way around the corner and down the side of the house. Oh, they're doing all the little bits like taking this battery off and stuff to using the car. It's not the easiest of tasks when, especially when it's raining like it is right now. All right, step one out. Step one done, she's purring like a kitten. I need to move her forward. Move the caravan right back and the car out onto the road. So I've got plenty of space to turn here. The space is pretty massive down here. Like I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is this section, even this section of the driveway that leads down to the back, it's really wide. Like it's, I don't know if this will give you a better representation, probably not, but it's definitely wider than the RV and the RV is like stupid wide. So <laughs> you definitely can't tell on camera, but it's a wide space. And then obviously when we get to the back of the house where it comes in like that, it's even wider. So it should be plenty of room, I hope. Okay, here we go. Job done and plenty of room to spare. So Chris just moved the RV down the side of our house and I just thought oh, I'm just gonna come in I've not been in it since like a couple of days after we bought it and it's since we've shown for it and, and what on earth it's is been, going on in here? Like construction site right now. Why though? There's loads of mods going on. Why? Tons of mods, it's be Why is mods going on? Yeah. Nothing yeah. needs yeah. doing in this RV. What is this massive monstrosity TV you've put there? Yeah, it, that is too big. That's no, dope. So good. And trust me, when this is all done, this is going to be the most luxury interior motorhome you've ever seen. It's going to be tricked out. I think it might have a T in it. Motor O. Motor O. It's going to be tricked out with everything you could imagine. It really doesn't need it. Oh, it, it, no, it doesn't, but it will be amazing. <laughs> when we're on the road, trust me, it'll be so good to have it all. Lighting's good. You've been, you've, you've been drinking Iron Brews in here. Oh. No. You've spent, uh, this is why you don't come to bed till 4 a.m. <laughs> Never mind the vlog. Um, one thing Chris did work out on the motor, we, we keep finding like really cool new features that we didn't even know it could do. And one thing that Chris found out the other day is if you move this massive U-shaped, U-shaped corner sofa, U-shaped corner, U-shaped sofa, you can move the back end bit and just yeah. have two sofas so that you can put that like, a table down. I'm not, am I explaining that very well? Chris is looking at me as if to say shut up. <laughs> so this is the very messy before. Construction site, mate. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. It opens it all up. Oh. Like. Yeah, but why would you ever want to do that? Why would yeah. why would anyone ever want that I showing? Don't, I, I don't know. I just know it can do it. So I guess it'd be good if you put a table up and we're eating yeah. dinner around here. Maybe. Or maybe there's like an, uh, maybe there's an, uh, uh, like a mod where you get yeah. like a draw unit here that sits here permanently. Yeah, that'd be cool. Sofa. I wonder if I wonder if the, the, the company makes a mod. Yeah. For a draw system here. Well, there's plenty of seating, but we'll definitely use that. Well, it's going to be a bed anyway, so. Yeah. We'll definitely use it. Yeah, man. That is cool though. Okay, one thing we do want to do, oh, why am I zoomed so far in, is 
do something. Oh, this carpet's made the door a bit stiff, babe. Sorry, yeah, that carpet doesn't fit properly. That's not great. The door's really low to the floor, so I need to hide the door. Where's the lights? Can't Just remember where the lights are. Yeah. Here. Top two. I think, no, that's the bedroom light, sorry. The top two after that. It's doing the bottom two. <laughs> the no, top two after that. <laughs> Let me just shut the toilet lid because I'm guessing nobody wants to see that. Um, yeah, no one thing we'd like it, to... No, no, no one used it, but still. We'd like to brighten up this bathroom. I actually... No, I like it dark, actually, babe. I like the dark marble. Yeah, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll one of those big mirrors that light up. Big light up mirrors in there. In the no. back. Because you could sit backwards on the toilet and get ready. I love it. I love, like, the... Oh my gosh, never even no noticed radiator before. It's got a radiator in here. No, here. I didn't notice that until recently. I didn't even notice that. It's good because it'll heat up the towels. I love the glass sink as well. And it's just, oh, I love the bathroom. Bathroom, toilet room. <laughs> There's no bath in there, obviously. Oh, we need to do something with this carpet. Yeah, no, I know. Mean, That's no good. I might, I'm going to move to try and move the door up because there's space to move it up. So. Why have we even got a carpet here? It's so not even relevant. I thought coming out of the shower, you maybe... Yeah, when you come out of the shower, you don't want to be soggy wet carpet. It's, a, it's, Actually, a yeah. mat. It's, a, it's an absorbent shower mat though, it's not a carpet. Ah, oh, right, that I see. That one's a matte mat. I see. And then, up here... There's, there's mess up there as well. Oh my gosh, what on earth have you doing? The You've changed the TV. You've changed the tilly? So what, I, I there wasn't a tilly appeal, was there? No, there was, but it was much smaller than that. Can't even remember. <laughs> so I just need to put all the wires back properly and stuff. That's a mess. Really nice though. But, um, yeah, I'd like to do something with these walls because... Not that there's anything terrible, but I mean this green's not... Greeny brown's not the nicest of colours, is it? Yeah, what I'm saying about you know them IKEA things red in the van. I the black boxes. And, yeah, it might look good on the break up the green, and it'll also be great storage for clothes and the skinny as well, so they won't take up any space. Well, you can have them on your side because I'm having the window. Well, I was thinking, what about, what about, <laughs> what about if it was, it was one one at the head of each bed and then two on the side as well on my side? No, I would want the head of my bed. I don't know. The fat out there. No, no, not fat at all. That's the point. Huh. I can't wait to get like a proper like duvet on here and make it all cozy and nice. Yeah. Maybe some shelves. In fact, I might put some shelves on this wall here. Yeah, we should do some shelves and some like books, books, books and things. Oh, we need a brew shelf. Well. We've got no brew shelves yet. Oh yeah, I mean, we, no, we do have a brew shelf on either side. No, of there, actually, no corner. No down a dodgy corner. Yeah, lock it off. yeah corner one in each corner. That'll oh, be nice. Definitely. And I absolutely love oh, this table set here. For when we drive. I, do you know what I really like as well? That the girls will be separate from Jason Miller. Yeah, I do as well. I really like so that. They're not, they're not pestering each other. So they're not pe well, well, that Jason Miller are not pestering the older girls. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't work the other way around. It's so but, comfy as well. So yeah, they are. Comfy. They're really squidgy and comfy. But um, the girls are going to be loving being able to look out the window yeah. and do this stuff on their matter box. They'll they be able to do their schoolwork with no interruptions and they'll all be able to sit here and enjoy the journeys. Yeah. Um, it'll be really nice for them. Ice also, <laughs> this is buzzing that is installed an ice maker. Ice cube maker. Ice cube yeah. maker, sorry. What, is it tall? High up? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you realise how big this van is. It's absolutely huge. I, I Do you know, Chris can't reach the ceiling. I'm nowhere near being able to reach the ceiling. Um, it goes as high as the second floor in our house. That's what I was saying when I was It's so it. tall, which is great, but at the same time, you look tiny in it actually. I could jump. Like proper you could really jump, jump, jump you still wouldn't touch It's great, but we are going to have to be careful on trips, like roads we go down. Imagine if we got stuck on like a motorway where there well, was a... we just use like a tom tom with like the HGV height setting limits. and you can put your height. Oh yeah, we should value, do that. And then it roots you the only we'll have place to buy one. Um, what was I coming over here to do? Ice machine. Oh yeah. This is the only place we can install the ice machine because of the electrical outlets. There's a, an electrical pot here for the microwave, so we can plug them both in here. Oh, and yeah. it'll work fine. Um, yeah, I can reach it that. It's a little bit. I can reach it fine and get the ice cubes out. I but can reach to here. All we will do is we'll get a stool, and that, like an IKEA stool or something that we can have here all the time. It's all good. I've got Isabel. And you'll be able to reach. Is up it? And get <laughs> you give me some ice out. Yeah. <laughs> also, what I was going to say before, before Chris got giddy about his ice cube machine, was that the girls don't. Ma I feel like I always need to just explain, just in case everyone's like, "Oh, do the girls hate sitting there, Jason Miller?" They don't, and they never complain. But there is times on trips where. They'll drop a phone or they'll mess up their iPad and the girls fix it for them. I just think it'll be nice for them to be able to have their own space. Yeah, well. Not because they complain or not because Jason and Mila are nightmares in the car because they're not. They're so good, aren't they? Are you kidding me? They're like when we drove when we were on the Scandinavia, they were just they're insane. They're, they're so yeah. good. It's probably because they're used to us travelling on yeah. long trips. But um yeah, I just I just like that they'll have their own space and their own thing down yeah. there. And obviously then it'll just obviously be me taking care of Jason Miller, which is obviously how it should be. It's hard to do that when we're in the van. 
but it's not going to be hard to do that now. No, I'm really good. looking forward to a trip in here. Really looking forward to taking it's it somewhere. It's going now. Soon, I know. Really <sighs> it's going to be great. Does this have air conditioning? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It does, doesn't it? You're kidding me, I'll turn it on the other day. It's fucking freezing. I told you. That's good. <laughs> That's good if we take it somewhere hot. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, look at the Xbox. Yeah. You've done loads in here. You definitely, definitely have been spending all your nights in here. No, no, no. Xbox, Isabel will be happy. She blooming loves playing on yeah, she will be Minecraft. She'll be loving that. So after our shopping trip yesterday where we were buying some new summer clothes, I, I've kind of come home and I was like, do you know what? I need to go through like my wardrobes and my drawers and basically just figure out everything that I have summer wise because First of all, my, my whole aesthetic and fashion has changed a lot since last summer. And I was just going to see what, what could give me a little... I kind of want to see what fits um, and just see what I have. So I've been going through and hopefully I'm going to find like a good amount of summer things. Also because it's it's like, it's literally basically summer now. So excited, I've got so many plans. Can't wait. Guys, I'm utterly embarrassed. This is how long I haven't... I've fully done that. I've done my main part of my wardrobe, but like the side part of my wardrobe, I can never do it. It just, the look of it, I, uh, if you think I'm gonna do that, no. But anyway, I'm just looking in my shelf. <laughs> what is the pain? A pot of pain. In my, wa in my wardrobe. I, I'm so utterly confused. But honestly, I absolutely love doing this because just look, look at these colours. It actually makes me excited for summer again. Just, Oh, look how cute and then I even wait oh, oh my gosh I found this dress look how cute it is oh my gosh no I'm actually really excited I don't know why I thought that with like I don't know I just wasn't really vibing with like the bright colours and I was like is it actually gonna look good but now that I've like found my bright outfits I'm like I'm ready to get back into my my summer bright colour era if that makes sense oh my gosh so cute 